Darren, through to the quarterfinals of the FA Trophy, really good second half performance there. You must be absolutely delighted. Couldn't get any worse after the first half, could we? <laughs> um, listen, it was it was much better in the second half. It was more like what we're capable of playing like. You know, there was a bit more energy about us, and and, and these were the things that were discussed at half time. Um, first half didn't pass the ball very well. Looked a bit nervy in possession. They pressed us quite high and really well um, and because we couldn't play through their press it, it, it makes their press look even better doesn't it so um, you know having said that although I felt they were they were handled the ball better than us in the first half other than the one opportunity that they had where Loji made a good save I don't remember him asking too many questions in the final third but there's no denying they were better than us at, at, in the first half in, in my opinion and then Second half, you know, like I say, we just played with a bit more urgency, a bit more energy. I thought Mauro sort of drove us forward. He, he, he seemed to be everywhere in the second half. Um, obviously, Medi coming on. You know, Xander, in all fairness, making his debut. You know, he'll, he'll, he'll learn loads from making his debut. He's up against a good side. So, you know, it was, a, it was a good early test for him. But there'll be more to come from him. But certainly, Medi played his part when he came on as well. And we just looked a bit more like ourselves in the second half. It seems to be that first goal sparked so much confidence for the team and then they go on to get the second and then the football we played in that last half an hour or so it seems to be once we had that confidence we were really sort of back at our best in many ways. It's a strange one though isn't it? You, you, I agree with you totally but to say that we was you know 11 unbeaten and playing with no confidence is you know it's a, it's a strange one to put your finger on but um, we certainly you know, there's a number of quotes you can say about it. Did we pay them too much respect because they're a good side and they're top of the league, albeit we're playing in a, in a trophy game. But whatever it was, we just weren't at the races in the first half. There's no getting away. But, you know, the, the confidence came back in the second half. We had we had a word at half-time and corrected one or two things. But a, a lot of what we done in the second half just, just come from a bit more urgency about what, what we was trying to do. Um, and then the goals, you know, getting two goals so close together were, were a real boost, give us a lift. And then it allows you to be, to have that confidence play out in your performance. And, you know, we, we, we made it look quite comfortable in the end, although we know at half time it wasn't comfortable. Another goal for Simeon and, an, and another goal for Josh. On top of bringing in Paul McCallum, you've got three strikers there who are bang on form. That must really please you. It's good, and you know they've. The, <coughs> excuse me. Between the three of them, they've got a, they've got a fight for two shirts, haven't they? So, you know, it was it's nice to see them both contribute the way they did today. I'm always going to want more. I want them both to work harder. You know, there's there's I'll never stop asking that, um, because I believe when the harder you work, the the more rewards you can get. And you know, although. Uh, they've both scored again today. Maka obviously weren't available, but scored in, on his debut last week. It's nice to have that type of selection headache going forward. And just to touch on the defensive side of, of the performance, to restrict Barrow, as you said, to one chance in the first half and they struck the bar in the second, that must be something that really pleases you as well because they are really well known for creating so many chances. Yeah, they're, they're a good side. You know, I've got a lot of respect for how they play. Um, obviously, they've, they've come here and... and Left one or two at home today. Um, you know, it was mentioned at the end of the game that, that they'll be back in a couple of weeks with with a, a stronger team. So you know, we know they've left some key players at home, but having said that, they've still got some good players that that I really like personally as an opposing manager. So to restrict them to what we did um, is pleasing. And, and Lochi's made a great save in the first half, and then the, the the one that hit the bar, he actually got fingers too as well. So, you know, it's, it's good for Lochi. He's a fantastic character, brilliant goalkeeper. I'm so pleased that we've got him here with us. Um, and, you know, our back three, Elliot again today. You know, Elliot's just Mr. Consistent, isn't he? And, you know, Sweens and Cowan there were nice and solid as well. And then it was nice to get Ricardo back on the pitch. So, a few headaches for me at both ends of the pitch. I was just going to touch on that. Ricardo getting 15 minutes there at the end as he returns some injury. The fans, the atmosphere in the second half as the goals winning was really good. There's a real good feel-good factor around the hive at the moment. You must be really keen to keep that going. Yeah, it's important, isn't it? You know, 
you touched on it, talking about confidence and your confidence should be in a good place um, as a group of players, you know, because we're 12 unbeaten, we're in a healthy position, we've got one or two games in hand that we need to make count, but I've got more good players that are coming out of the treatment room over the next few weeks, so it sets it up nicely, but we, we won't get carried away, there's no chance of that, it's one game at a time and we've got another big game to look forward to on Tuesday night.